Hello there people, this is the Armor 45 coming back to you with another art video. It has been probably two years since I last made one. My last one was uh, the Tech Cave with my friends Shadi and Block. Since then, uh, we still play on the main server, Anorex Cluster, or the Land of Wonders Cluster as I to identify it as. And I come to you with another server from that very same uh, admin, uh, our Lord and Savior with that, uh, with Anorak and the Super Alien Corvus. I have to thank them both because if it was not for them, my arc experience would not have been extremely pleasant. Because of them, it is now the best thing. This is the reason why this game is now my most important. But aside that, it's time to get into um, what I really wanted to talk about today. I am on Valviro, which is probably one of the most well, fan favorite maps out of the free DLCs. Ragnarok would come in probably second place, it's probably going to be third if Crystal Isles comes out, and Crystal Isles has a whole bunch of new stuff on it. But I don't know. As far as I know, uh, Love Hero is my all-time favorite uh, workshop map that became an official one. The center, I'm not really sure about the center. I think the center at this point is probably outdated by popularity. Love Hero here, why I come to talk to you about is I want to see if anyone will be interested in uh, playing Primeval Death, which is a primitive medieval PvP VERP server. At the moment, it is light PRP at the moment, and there has not been many people joining other than most of the friends and the new players on the server that came from Genesis or got tired of it. If you do not have the DLCs, don't worry, you do not need any of them, you just only need Valkyro and you will be able to play most of the stuff and use some of the dinosaurs that exist on this map from other DLCs, as I have worked really hard to make sure they do. And to top it up, I will prove it to you by going to the spawn points on this server. And we're back, and it looks like we uh, found ourselves our first uh, our first uh, snow spot, a female XU Tyrannus, level 1080. And yes, this server has been extremely increased in stat and levels, so the difficulty is a lot harder than you think it is. Rates are 10 times XP, uh, 10 times gather, 10 times breeding and maturation, but 20 times taming. The unfortunately passive XP has been disabled, well, not disabled, but it is 1 tenth XP passive XP gain, so it will be a lot harder to win, or at least level up against uh, most things. Since the server is PvP, um, there uh, there will be optional tribes that will be PvP and PvE tribes. So as long as you have PvE in your name, you should be protected by my rules. However, if you are a PvE tribe and you've been raided by PvP tribes, uh, the PvP tribe will be dealt with um, fairly, as in they will be raided back. But when it comes to uh, when it comes to PvE tribe doing the raid. They will lose their PvE status and will not be able to claim it back for three days, 72 hours, starting at the time they first uh, raided. So right now, this is a snow spawn. I have the snow owl and the snow Eutarianus spawning. As you can see, uh, you know the spawns doesn't the, the symbol spawners is a really it's still a work in progress, and I will give them the credit for what they attempted to do with it. Because I love this mod personally. It's able to spawn in everything I wanted into the environments I specifically wanted them to spawn in. This is an admin only tool, and as you can see, I have everything spawned accordingly 50 dinosaurs, max limit, 5 per respawn for every 30 minutes, the level range of 1 to 1140, and in increment increment levels. And they spawn pretty much in everywhere in the 36 spawn radius. As you can see, everything spawns here for now. However, the other snow spawns do not have the snow owl, but they have the ferox. But you should be able but considering this, you're probably wondering, hey, how can we tame a ferox if there's no element on the server? Well, I'm glad you asked. That's where our next location is goes to in the snow. And we're back here now, folks. This here is a corrupted element based spawn, thanks to once again the simple spawners. These are now PvE events for anyone on the server who just gets tired of not doing anything, or at least wants to unlock something. Element on my server is a currency, and it, you can use it to buy certain items that are specific to a certain tier. I believe that it is the highest tier is Mastermind. And 
as of now. All of the veins are pretty much there just to, if you're really bored, you want to wake up from killing a crypto dinosaur, or if you need to buy something from me that you do not have anything made, or you just not reach a higher enough level to unlock that specific item. You can lock it. From this, Mastercraft items or blueprints, but they will be randomized. They will not, I cannot guarantee they will have a less costly, um, a less costly blueprint or a really low end tier blueprint of that rank. We are here at the Volcanic Trench, the Ice Wyvern Trench, and there is a Brute Allosaurus. Oh uh, yeah, I don't want to face that yet. So. As you can see here, uh, all X variant dinosaurs do spawn with the bugs. Like that all source right there that's getting wrecked by a bunch of centipedes and spiders. Too bad they're invisible. However, this is uh, nothing compared to what I'm going to show you later on. At the moment, I have not decided on any other spawns inside the cave since it is a one way entrance out. And this probably is going to be the one way in. Oh, a bunch of experience to spawn. Yeah, the X, the X spot for this one is a little glitchy, but it's the only one that works better because of the most all drop in the lava. So, of course, entering the, ca entering the cavern here, you have to go through all the typical creepy crawlies and such. But it's right here what I really have, and it is a, a spawn terminal. I would like to access it at the moment, but there's too many plugs. But the spawn terminal has the lava golem, the brute X wipe, no, the, the brute wiper, and, uh, the, uh, the Alpha X Triceratops. But for the moment, it is still a work in progress of how I have them spawning in. So I'm going to take you inside of here and show you what has been improved. As of the moment, Fire Wyverns are, aren't affected by anything at the moment. Aren't affected by anything at the moment. And the first Lava Turn is pretty stable. There's nothing currently new on it. It's the same thing. It's, however, the inner part of the, the deeper part of the trench is what gives it up. That is what I mean by the source. He's either going to be annoying a bit. Still not found an alpha lifer yet. Anyways, in this part, particular part of the map, you could fight the... Uh, it's really bright. Uh, every wyvern's chase after me, huh? Well, I may have to get out of here if I don't get wrecked constantly. Now let me continue. Across the in this deeper area of the lava a trench, are magmasaur nests, and these are also from simple spawners. They will spawn the eggs. Someone said that they could not get the eggs to spawn in because of the coding to be similar to the wyverns. However, I debunked that, and you can still spawn the eggs in if you have that correct dinosaur. And see, because I still have the magmasaurus uh, spawn codes, when the game first came out the first week, I was able to get the codes and the dinosaur needed for that, and now it works. So now you can steal Magmasaur eggs in here, but for this you definitely need a fly, since it's not an eruption. Not anytime soon. Just be advised, Magmasaurs, this, this is PvP, so Magmasaurs will have their signature taunt ability. And I forgot why I do not like the swamp as much as I like the other locations. This here is a Brute Sarko, as you can tell by its colors, it's got the Genesis colors. Of course it just killed us any faster. The Brute, yeah, the Brute, um, Sarko's do spawn. Oh, is it dead? No, nope, it's not. There you go, it's dead. Now pull off this Taxidermy, you know, I need a Taxidermy to get. Dermis of a screwed circle. Alright, let's take that. Tax 
taxidermy kits are actually very nece very necessary for what I plan to do with my uh, what I plan to do with my game for the quest. Um, depending on what you want to select, a, um, a brute a brute sarcos skin. If you collect a dermis of a super brute sarco, you will unlock you will get in return 100 sarco skins, which can be used to fight bosses. Or you can sell it for you can sell this dermis for a for one ascendant tier item. But that's it. If you can collect the dermis, otherwise I cannot guarantee that you might have one. That is a brute spine though. Yeah, you are a brute spine, you are a level 260. It's gonna be a little hard to fight you considering you got the water at your vintage. Oh. Yep, he already wants to fight. I could collect the Dermis for that one, but I already dealt with the Brute Sarko. Here is the Swamp Biome, in this one, the extremely lag-fested fog. This area is not my favorite. The lag is terrible. And there's one in the Swamp, and I do believe that is another Brute Sarko Sucus. I'm going to do that, but yeah, that's a Brute Sarko. I guess might as well just kill it so we can get the XP. Oh, and I can't land? Oh, it doesn't matter. I'm still gonna kill you anyways. Yeah, landing dragons in the swamp is terrible. Although, I will say that the, the brutes have nice colored skin. Then again, I don't know how- I haven't really stayed much on this. Oh, and I killed an anti this body. Damn it, I was trying to get the premise. And that is just a normal raptor, so that one must die. But now, resuming the fog. Bloodstalkers have not been added to this area, however, they exist in the Redwoods, under the Broodmother spawn. So, if you're planning to tame a Bloodstalker and send all that effort, there are both Brood Bloodstalkers and Bloodstalkers, normal ones, in the Broodmother spawn. So, if you're ready to face your worst arachnophobic uh, fears, that is where you want to go. And here is the main uh, bog spawn for experience. I'm not going to get too close because there is a castle over there, and I do believe that's just causing the lag right badly right now. So, there, for example, is your boot X, no, female Spino, just a normal X Spino, followed by, uh, is that an X one? That's an X one, followed by a normal one. So, you see, you have almost every one of them here. I'm trying to see if there's another X variant. I'm not seeing any. The swamp is going to be the tricky one, especially for the, these X variants. There is, however, another sw swamp spawn, but the swamp spawn is deep in the redwoods, only in one little tiny marsh. So only a small amount of X variants spawn, and unfortunately not all of them. And the rest that do spawn, which are level 240, level 2000, 2, 2430, or 340, I'm not sure. They spawn deep in the Broodmother Cave, and if you plan to build in the cave, there's your dinosaur army, right there. But just be advised that you will be stuck down there, because they ain't getting out anytime soon. No cryopods. And that is pretty much it, folks. That is pretty much what I wanted to show you for now, and the rest I'm going to have to leave it up to the players to decide how they're going to want to, um... Are they going to want to try out this server? Because at the moment, the server is still in need of players, and I would love to see pr people who are done with Genesis or any other map and probably just want a primitive medieval experience to come see this map. The map has 19 mods, uh, I said the player stats earlier, and uh, no DLCs required. <clears throat> Sorry, excuse me about that. So far, it's open for anyone, it's for PvP and PV players. The rules are there to protect. Uh, and also be fair, as far as I know, PvP is not going to be the same as dropping bombs and uh, blowing up windows just like that or walls just to enter a safe or a vault. It's pretty much just entering in, purging uh, people, and then stealing all the loot that you can find. And that's really it. Yeah, so anyways, uh, 
This is the Iron Wolf uh, signing out, and I'll see you folks another time. And I just still thank Hanarek once again for uh, giving me the server and the ability to even make this video. So, peace out.